Well, a very good evening to everybody. Let me just check what the time is because I've been working and um, potting and sewing and planting and it's now 25 minutes to 5. So thanks for the great stretch in, in the day. Thanks to that I'm able to make this little video. Because at 25 to 5, just a few weeks ago, it was dark. So, this is wonderful. Now I'm a wee bit out of breath because I've just come up the driveway with the, um, with the wheelbarrow. My friend Davina has been visiting and um, just uh, walked down with the wheelbarrow because I had some wee plants in it for her. And she brought me some cardboard, which is great. So, this is how far I've got anyway today, um, as well as doing lots of other little tasks. But anyway, um, I've potted up another one of the little pots. Um, I've put beetroot in that one. The other one has got the purple sprouting broccoli. Um, and I'll just show you how things are doing in this, which has got um, the kale. As you can see, look, it's it's sprung up, it's standing to attention, looks very good. So pleased with that. As Davina and I were just stood down stood down by her car at the end of the driveway, um, this beautiful sparrow hawk landed on the tree beside us. So I was just saying to her, it's a sign of health that the sparrow hawk is now itself been able to find food within this area because of course all the little birds um yeah we were just kind of oohing and on about you know the fact that little birds are taken by the sparrow hawk but then that's part of the ecosystem and the food chain and everything else but anyway, it was just lovely to see the sparrow hawk so got some more logs out of the barn and um I'll just pull back. If I pull back then you can see how it's looking. Okay, so I've made the opening here a little bit wider. I've done that. Um, this particular bed here, it's a little bit narrow. I will be widening that out a little bit on, um, on this side here. Um, car coming up next door. Um, I've spread the rest of the compost and um, I've also been spreading the compost down here on top of the sheep's wool on top of the cardboard. So today's Friday. It's quite possible that a lot of this bed will be finished by the end of the weekend. It's looking at Sunday. So very happy with that. It's my neighbours pulling their bins up the driveway. That's, a, that's the noise in the background. So I've also potted up um, this beautiful, well I call it a palm tree. It has a more, it has a more specific name than that. Um, but um, that was on special offer at the garden centre, oh, about two months ago. And um, it was kind of bursting out of the pot. So I bought it with the intention of potting it up, repotting it, you know, which is what I've done today. So I've just sat it there into the rustic bed. And that's where it will stay now until the end of the summer. We'll see how that goes. So again, this is another alternative to just having a bed and planting it out. You know, you can. There's nothing to stop you putting pots into the bed, like I've done here. And then, if the plant is happy enough in that situation, maybe even plant it into the bed at some later date. So, two big tubs of seedlings now on the go, seed sown. One big tub of seedling kale which is going to be ready hopefully for putting out into the vegetable bed um, within the next month or so. 
I've also potted up some of the daffodils. So they were in the plastic pots, remember, over by over by the tunnel. I'll just pull this away here. So you can see I've put them into terracotta pots and put some moss around around them. That's one. This is the second one. I haven't put any moss into this one yet. So that's a little terracotta pot. Um, I'm really thinking a lot more seriously now about container gardening because that lends itself well to being able to kind of rejig the garden, you know, and, and, and have, have plants and uh, flowers and vegetables, not necessarily in beds, but actually in pots. So definitely my carrots are going to be grown in pots this year, or tubs, and definitely the potatoes. So I'm thinking about getting some more tyres and putting them over um, by the Lunasa Garden near the rhubarb and um, growing potatoes in those. I actually have some well weathered, well worn, well seasoned tyres over by the old compost heap so I might use those. They would be ideal. Now I'm looking up here at my, at my porch and look. That's from water leakage onto the barge board. Dear, oh dear, I'll have to get that replaced or fixed. Always looking at maintenance, of course, on these old cottages, you know. Now, there we go, the light now is beginning to fade. It's getting on towards quarter to five. I think it is about quarter to five. It's quite a cloudy day as well. So you can imagine if this was uh, a bright day with no cloud, that there'd be a lot more light here at this point. But Davina was remarking on the beautiful colours here in the woodland garden. That's one of the benefits of planting trees and shrubs instead of lawn. You get this all year round colour and structure, which I love. It, it brings me outdoors. Well, there we go. So that's my little bit of sharing for today. Um, there's still some calendars left. And uh, it would be great if you haven't bought a calendar to at least try to sort of tick them off my hands at this point <laughs> because um, I'd like to see as many of them go to homes as possible. And it is only the kind of cost now that I'm charging because um, it costs 4 70 to post. That's just the postage alone. So anyway, that is going to be the last shout out for the calendars. So there we go. It's starting to take shape. And I must say I do find it very invigorating because it has invigorated my energy and also my creativity. I feel very buoyed up by creating this new bed because it's, it's kind of leading me off into other areas of creating within the gardens. So, Jack and I say blessings to you all. Have a lovely Friday evening, everyone. Blessings.